girls. Hi. Hi. So you girls know that this is what moves your chicken house, right? Are you trying to say that you want your chicken house moved again? Thank you so much for the eggs. I really appreciate you. Yeah, I really appreciate you. And there's their chicken tractor. Part of what I'm doing today is sorting through and the eggs. I have other people that I bought for that they're going to come and either pick up eggs or I'm going to drop off. So I want to make sure I give them the cleanest eggs to make it easier for them. I don't mind washing this, but some people might not want to. So that can stay in my fridge dirty like that. This is an unwashed egg, but it's a very clean unwashed egg. So that's the task today is to go through all the eggs. I have to create five flats of very clean eggs. This is the one with a lot of yolk on it, so I thought I'd wash it. Now it's interesting, these eggs were all collected at different times. Because I ordered 20 flats of eggs, they had to start collecting about two weeks in advance, and you can see this egg doesn't lay completely flat. This one was just collected. These look like they were their earlier collected eggs. So even when you're ordering fresh eggs from a farmer, you have to keep in mind that the eggs may not have been collected that very day. They might have been already sitting in the fridge for about a week or two. Where I go to pick up eggs, the chickens are outside. And if you know anything about chickens outdoors, they will try to, just like ducks and other fowl creatures, they will try to, especially if they're broody, they'll go off to a secret location and try and lay eggs. Sometimes it's the farmer that doesn't collect them right out of the nest box and lets the nest box get dirty. But more often than not, when you see a really dirty egg, it's because it was laying on the ground, because a chicken was, was not laying her eggs in the nest box. I recently had a lady ask me about botulism. Botulism does not exist inside the egg. It's from the dirt and or the fecal matter on the outside of the egg that when you crack it goes into the egg white and the egg yolk and if you don't cook it thoroughly then you end up getting botulism. So it's on the outside. As long as this egg is unwashed, even with all this dirt, you can just store it in the fridge. But when you're ready to eat it, make sure that you wash it really, really well before you even crack it. And that goes for a farm fresh egg that is really clean and hasn't been washed. You still wanna wash it just in case there's any of that bacteria on the outside of the shell that when you crack it will seep into the egg white and the egg yolk. And that applies for water glassing as well. I would not water glass an egg like this with all this poop. I would try to brush, dry brush as much of this poop off. And if there was still too much on it, this is not an egg that I would use for water glassing. An egg such as this that has a little bit of straw, I would pull that off. Make sure your hands are very dry when you do this. I take my fingernail and I pick off a lot of the poop that I could before I put it into the water glass solution. I always have an old dry toothbrush in my kitchen because it's nice and soft. You might just use that to scrub. Make sure it's super dry though because if there's any moisture on this brush, 
that goes to this egg. You lose the protective bloom on the outside of the egg that protects it when it's being water glassed. So I can already see just by scrub, even though my toothbrush is very dry, just by scrubbing some of this poop, it's starting to moisten the egg. So that tells me I would not use this egg for water glassing now because the bloom is beginning to come off because of the moisture. It's the same as your eggs. When you get them from the farmer, if you put them in the fridge, they'll last six months before they begin to go bad. If you leave them out on the counter, they'll last about a month. Again, providing that none of these eggs are washed. The moment you wash the egg, you're washing off that protective bloom. You'll only get about two weeks in the fridge, maybe a month maximum, that this egg will last after that bloom has been washed off. And once the bloom is washed off on the counter, you're lucky if you only get one or two days, depending on how warm or how cold your indoor temperature is. When you take eggs from the chicken box, and you put them in the fridge, and then you remove them and put them on the counter, they will sweat. And that is going to wash the bloom off as well. If you're someone like me, that I buy eggs from the farmer, not just for myself, but for other people, who then either come here and pick up from me or their friends and I deliver to them because I'm going to visit them, do not put the eggs in the fridge. The lady that I buy from, because I travel an hour to go pick up my eggs each way, so that's two hours of travel time, which is why I go for a hike in between. She does not put my eggs in the fridge because if she did that, and then the moment I put them in my car and was driving home, they'd begin to sweat. And all of the bloom that is on each of those eggs would be essentially washed away, which means that I would have 20 flats of eggs that I would have to use up within, if I put them in a fridge, within two to four weeks. That's why farm fresh eggs, you never want to put them in a refrigerator that's plugged in. You can store them in an old refrigerator that's not plugged in. This is if you're going to give them to other people or sell them to other people. Keep them out of the fridge. If you're only buying a flat, well, you can keep them out on the counter. You don't even have to put them in the fridge and you can leave them on the counter for 30 days. That's a basically a flat of 30 and that's one egg a day over the course of 30 days. So that's why if you're just buying in small quantities, you don't even need to put these in the fridge. But if like me, you're buying for six months at a time, that's why I buy in bulk. And that is why all of my eggs go directly into the fridge. And when I need them, I just pull one egg out or two eggs or how many ever I need at a time. Then I wash them and then I do whatever I'm going to do with it. Bake it, sunny side up eggs, I'll boil them, whatever it is that I'm going to do. But for my purpose and intention, when I get them home, because I buy so many, that is why I refrigerate them. If you want to buy these from the farmer directly, and you want to keep these on your counter with the intention that they will last for upwards to 30 days, you need to be very clear in your communication with the farmer that you're buying from that you do not want them to spot wash or even wipe the egg. Or you can say, give me your cleanest eggs without spot washing or washing them. Otherwise, be prepared to get some dirty eggs that are gonna sit on your counter. The point that I'm trying to share with you is you want to make absolutely certain that you communicate to the farmer not to spot wash and or completely wash. What is spot washing? Spot washing is when you have a little piece of dirt like this and the farmer will take a damp cloth and just wipe that area. That area now no longer has the bloom intact, which means that this egg is not going to last 30 days on your counter or six months in your fridge it suddenly has diminished the life of it. That is why when you are buying directly from a farmer, make certain that you clarify in your communication. You do not want your eggs washed, nor do you want them spot washed. That will give you longer shelf life for your eggs at home. And because you are telling the farmer not to wash them or spot wash them, you as the purchaser or consumer you have to be prepared that these eggs may contain some poop or feathers or straw or dirt. It would be completely unrealistic and impractical to expect a completely clean egg unless the farmer has just grabbed it out of the 
hen box right in that moment. I mean, I do have a few eggs that it looks like they're store-bought washed eggs, but for the most part, most of the eggs have a little bit of straw or feather or dirt or poop or something on it. So the first thing I do is I go through all the eggs and I pull out all the ones that have cracks. They're very hard to see sometimes and sometimes they'll be covered by poop. And that's why the dirtiest ones I wash first because those more often than not are going to be the ones that have the cracks. And if you just throw that in the fridge, yeah, the poop will kind of keep everything in contact. And don't forget the membrane under that crack is still keeping everything inside intact, but air is being exposed, which means in spite of the fact that they have the bloom on them, they won't stay fresh in your fridge for up to six months. They will deteriorate a lot faster. So the first thing I do is I go through all my eggs and remove any eggs like this was very visible i removed that immediately and then i wash all these eggs and these are the eggs that i'll use in the next couple days for sunny side eggs for baking etc and then the really dirty dirty ones those are the ones that i'll soak right away i'll soak them and clean them right away and i'll make boiled eggs with these right away because I know that more than likely out of all the eggs, these are going to be the ones where they have cracks, but you don't see them. So here's a really good example of an egg that's cracked. It's cracked all along here, but because it was so covered with poop, I would never have seen that, which means this egg probably would have gone bad in a couple weeks in my fridge. And that's why, again, I can't stress it enough. When dirtiest eggs that you have, wash those and use those first and then use the cleaner eggs. So again, another egg for the cracked egg pile. So far we have seven cracked eggs out of 20 flats, which is 20 times 30, 600 eggs. Technically 599 because one flat was missing an egg. I will speak to the farmer about that. I'm putting cold water in these to stop them from cooking and to make it easier to remove the shell from the egg. So in case you didn't know it, after the egg's been boiled, you can refrigerate it in the eggshell. There's no golden rule that says you cannot. That said, after it's really cold, it's a little harder to get the eggshell off, at least that's my experience, which is why I like to take the shell off and then just put them into a jar or a Ziploc bag in the fridge. It makes it easier for grabbing and eating too. I'm going to save all my eggshells. If you haven't watched my video on how to use eggshells as a calcium supplement, you might want to watch that. And also, this can be ground into a powder, and this is food for your watermelons, your tomatoes to prevent blossom rot. Occasionally with a farm fresh egg, you'll see a little red dot whether it's the egg white is soft or when it's hard cooked like this, that just means that this egg had been fertilized. So if this egg had have remained under the hen, it most likely would have hatched a chick. The fresher the farm egg, the less air space there is inside the shell when it's boiled. You have to be really careful when you peel these. This was a little too close, the membrane too close to the egg. Unfortunately, it came off. This will be the first egg I eat. Because these all fit in this bowl, I think I'm just gonna put a lid on it and I'll mark it with eggs, boiled eggs, so Dom knows what it is. Voila. Mm. Nothing like a farm fresh egg.